Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB. Just in time for CES 2018, OWC has released the Thunderblade V4. It is basically the most lust worthy hard drive I have ever seen, with some of the most ridiculous read and write speeds out there on the market. To me, it is basically the hard drive equivalent of that 70 inch 8k television that i want so badly though most people probably don't need clearly meant for media and video professionals who are constantly traveling with their storage the thunderblade v4 not only comes with the drive but this ballistic protective case as well so when you are out there in the field you don't have to worry about this drive the drive is rugged as well, being crafted out of aluminum with all those kind of vents. Each of those is going to make this into basically a giant heatsink. So it is completely fanless and it is completely silent. Along the front, there is a long status light that goes from white to blue when it's in use. And around back, you have the DC power in as well as dual Thunderbolt 3 ports. So aside from the actual drive itself, you're also going to get a few cables with it which is pretty much everything you need to actually use the drive. It is not bus powered, which means you do need to use a power cable, and they have obviously included one, both the kind of the extension part, as well as the part with the large transformer, the brick, that you need to actually run this guy. Aside from the power cable, it also comes with the Thunderbolt 3 cable, so you don't have to supply your own. That said, it is shorter, it's only about a half meter cable, so you might want a longer one. We've covered a bunch of other cables, so if you do find yourself needing a better Thunderbolt 3 cables, just check out our past videos. So let's get to actual performance, how this thing works. Inside of it are four M.2 drives, solid state drives, and this can range in capacity from one terabyte all the way up to eight terabytes. And as far as performance, they say you can get up to 2450 megabytes per second write and 2800 megabytes per second read. In actual usage, I was getting around 20 to 2200 megabytes per second as read time, and that is still ridiculously fast. Here I have a 2.5 gig file. I'm just going to transfer it from my computer to this external drive, and you might have blinked at how fast that was. Let's drag it again before you even have time to look from your computer to your watch back to the computer. It is done in less than maybe two seconds to transfer that two and a half gig. But if that performance is not enough for you, you can actually daisy chain multiple of these together and use software to create a single RAID drive and get almost double the performance at up to 3,800 megabytes per second in transfer time. The one downside for me is the power. It still doesn't give you a lot of power, you can actually see when it's plugged in. I'm only getting 15 watts of power, so if you're on a 15 inch MacBook Pro, that may not be enough to really supply you and you're still going to need your own power cable. I was blown away by the performance of this drive, comparing to Lassier's Bolt 3 and even the Glyph Adam that we reviewed. Both those were blazing fast and this still tops both of them. My actual real world speeds were faster than the theoretical max that those other two drives were offering. That said, you probably don't need to run out and pick one of these up. The price is quite high and clearly just aimed at professionals. That said, it's still a piece of lust-worthy hardware that you can't help but admire. If you do want to pick one up, you can learn more at the link in the description. Go ahead and subscribe, and until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.